Little Uzi Vert's pink tape is better than Playboy card is a whole lot of red. There's been enough time now. The eternal debate between Little Uzi Vert's pink tape and Playboy card is a whole lot of red. It's like comparing a pineapple pizza with enough time passed. Does the cheese settle and the arguments simmer down? We're dealing with a masterpiece here. Like Picasso and myself deciding to have a paint off. First off, Playboy Cardi is a whole lot of red. Imagine this. It's August 2018 and Cardi drops a bombshell that his second studio album is in the works. But wait for it, he decides to let the anticipation marinate for a solid two years. Picture Cardi scrolling in the studio late in 2018, ready to conquer the magic. But lo and behold, over the next couple of years, leaks started raining down like a leaky roof and a crazy storm. Pissy Pamper was all over the internet like confetti at New Year's Eve party. And as for original music, nah, Cardi's recipe included being featured on tracks like Baguettes in the Face, with the side of Nav, A Boogie with a Hoodie, and a sprinkle of Earthquake with Tyler the Creator. In April 2020, he threw a curveball drop in the track at me, hitting the Billboard Hot 100 like a pie in the face of expectations. Cardi's album was a slow cooked stew that got everyone's taste buds tingling. Greg topped on Pain 1993 and the album finally landed on her plates like a Christmas feast in 2020. Soared to number one on the Billboard 200, making Cardi the chart's newest chef sensation. Now for Little Uzi Vert's Pink Tape, Little Uzi Vert's journey has been a roller coaster of announcements, singles, and surprises that's wider than a rodeo on a unicycle. Picture this, late 2020, and usually out here on this Instagram Live like a wizard conquering up new singles that felt like a blast from the past. Until they decided to dig into their sonic time caps on Bring Back Vibes and made the sensation in its first place. Then boom, July 16, 2021 arrives, and Uzi drops a bombshell bigger than firework display. The reveal of their upcoming album is none other than the Pink Tape. It doesn't stop there though. Uzi's thrown on announcement of the confetti at New Year's Eve party, talking about a project titled Forever Young, teasing a follow up to Love is Rage 2, and even whipping out something exclusive for SoundCloud like Forever Young. It blesses us with a track called Demon High. Fast forward to July 12, 2022, Uzi drops an EP called Red and White. It's like a candy bar you've been craving. And then out of the blue, I just want to rock hits the airwaves like a dance party in your headphones. Fast forward again to June 30th, 2023, Uzi unveils their third studio album called The Pink Tape. A whopping 26 tracks including three bonus ones. That's like having an all-in-one-you-can-eat buffet of delight. And on the album, they invited the likes of Travis Scott, Nicki Minaj, Bring the Horizon, and Don Tolliver, and also Baby Metal to join the party. And guess what? Pink Tape blams on the Billboard 200 at number one, making Uzi chart topper three times in a row, selling 165k first week sales. For which project is better? I mean, if we're going strictly by numbers, um, Little Uzi Vert's Pink Tape definitely had way more tracks that actually charted in the Billboard 200 compared to, I mean technically the Hollywood 100 on the 200, compared to Playbook Card is a whole lot of red, but I mean over time if you look back at the, the one month trajectory after a whole lot of red and Pink Tape, the Pink Tape is getting way more love than a whole lot of red did. A whole lot of red was very, very niche at the time, and it took a little bit for a whole lot of red to actually marinate in people's ears. And a big part of it was Playboy Cardi's first Rolling Loud appearance, and then when he went on tour. So if we're talking just about um like the first month, because Pink Tape just came out first month, it's definitely Pink Tape, and even first week sales as well. First week sales, Little Uzi Vert sold 165k first week, and a whole lot of red only sold just over 101k first week. So I'm gonna say that Pink Tape is better, but subjectively, music-wise, what I enjoyed better was a whole lot of red just off the rip. And the pink tape was just like, it, I just wish Little Uzi were kind of just stuck to one style and just ran with it. It feels like he just kind of did a sprinkle of so many different styles on the project that it was just like, hmm. It was not quite the Uzi that I wanted and it wasn't quite the Uzi that was confident in one specific sound because it was just bloated by so many different tracks. Like 26 tracks is just a lot. A whole lot of Red was a lot of tracks too with like around I think 20 tracks but Play Bucardi kind of stuck to one sound, kind of one one style and kind of ran with it and Little Uzi was just kind of all over the place, you know what I mean? So. But if we're talking about numbers, and I'm a numbers guy, we're gonna go with a pink tape is better than Put Bacardi. A whole lot of red. But what do you guys think though? Which project do you think was, was better? A whole lot of red or the pink tape?